So hi there and welcome to this quick screencast about Triptico, one of my favourite ever tools for interactive whiteboards. Um, one of my favourite uh, activities in my favourite group of tools, on that is Triptico, is this word magnets. So I'm going to come back to that in a moment. But just to show you basically, it is a, a toolkit uh, of things for a, your interactive whiteboard, a class timer for example, so that you can count down five minutes left, four minutes left for a speaker activity or whatever, a class list so that you can uh, choose uh, certain people from the group for the next activity, that sort of thing. There's all sorts of different bits and pieces in here. What, uh, there's new stuff added all the time. This one's new to me. Looks like some sort of Pelmanism game, something like that perhaps. There, there's all sorts of smart little bits and pieces in here. Um, let's go back to Word Magnets itself though. As I say, it's my, my favourite one of all. Um, so we're going to start off um, by making a new board and I'm just going to do a quick activity uh, where I found an article that uh, I think is of interest to my students, that's you guys, um, about a smart incredible technological car uh, that is uh, being designed by Google. So I'm going to copy a sentence out of this article uh, the first fully licensed self-driven car, a modified Toyota Prius, won a special permit on Tuesday, the first of three applied for by Google, which allows it to be used on the state's roads, including the famous Las Vegas Strip. Okay, so uh, we've read it. We've probably answered a couple of questions about it if we were doing it properly in class. And then you get to choose a background. There's all sorts of different backgrounds you can choose, but I'll come to those in a minute. And all we're going to do now is uh, create the create the magnet. So let's see if we can uh, reorder these now. So Google uh, was it applied for uh, for a permit? Uh, is there a witch in there? There's got to be a witch. Uh, allows. Um, etc etc uh, the key thing with with activities like oh, okay so first of all you can see it's a cool great nice little activity uh, where your students have to read a text and then put it back together again um, the key thing with an activity like this is it really focuses your atten your students attention on the syntax of the language as much as it does uh, the comprehension of it itself. So sure, we could try to get this exactly right, but the, the, the important thing is really that the students create sentences which make sense. So if you choose sentences as examples here um, that are demonstrating the key language you're trying to teach, your target language, it will it will really help your students and it will um, be a nice addition to the lesson. So I'm going to quit this one here because you've, you've had an idea, I hope, of, of how this one works. And I'm going to show you another board that I've uh, made with a few... These ones here are a group of regular and irregular verbs. So I'm just going to paste these on here now. This could be something probably for uh, um, probably for a pre-intermediate intermediate class, maybe something like that. And then I'm going to choose the background. I could have my blank one, but now just by choosing one that's divided in two, you can see there's all sorts of different divisions here. Well, let's go back to number two. It's divided into two places. Create the magnets. I got irregular verbs here. I've got regular verbs here. And then my students have to do it. So befriend. Is that a regular verb or an irregular verb? That's right. Uh, drink. Well done. Hate. Irregular. Nope. Regular, etc. Okay, uh, so you get the idea. Um, a nice uh, one, and you can also add in new ones from your students. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, there we go. C and add. And it's in there. You can then save it so that you can use it at the start of next lesson. Let's save it on the desktop here so that I can have, I'll call it regular, irregular. And then all you need to do is to take this file with you uh, the next time you you uh, go to to school. You can prepare this at home. Next time you're in the class, you can st start up this same lesson with a whole bunch.